The 2024 Ford F-150 Sleeper single cab short box has drawn up quite the stir all over the internet. Thanks to its over 700 horsepower, five liter Whipple supercharged V8, starting under $50,000, it makes it the best deal on the new market right now for a high horsepower vehicle. However, a single cab short box isn't the most practical thing for every person on earth. So today we look at one with the back seat. Under $63,000. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Performance on Wheels. My name is Todd, my son Austin and I, we make all sorts of videos on all sorts of different cars. If you want to join us on our journey, do us a favor and hit that like and hit that subscribe button. Let's see what we get into. There is something about that single cab short box that screams <laughs> just good old muscle truck and Nutty. the fact that they're so dang light. However, it is, I mean, there's no denying that it's not practical. Yeah. It's not for the average family. It's definitely the sport truck for that one household here or there that has the availability to have a fun car. And for that fun car, they choose a truck. Yeah. yeah. However, the majority of the population has a family. And by adding two more doors, three more seats, this supercharged F-150 just became a whole lot more appealing. It absolutely did. And Austin and I, we're on this series where we're looking at some of the best muscle cars, like of the era, because like, Beyond the Mustang, like muscle cars are dead. So the fact that you can buy this 700 plus horsepower truck on the market is so appealing to us like horsepower junkies, right? And it's so much fun, like Austin mentioned, that not only can you have like the super sport truck, but you can still have that very similar thrill. Check out the zero to 60 time. In a truck that has four doors, towing capacity, a bed, like, does this get any better, Austin? I don't think it honestly can, and it could be yours. This truck's actually available right now. Go check out Apple Autos down in the description below. In Shakopee, Minnesota, this supercharged truck is available for under $63,000. No way. Yes, under $63,000, you can do a four and a half second, zero to 60, with you, with your wife, with the two kids in back while towing a boat. We've heard this in numerous comments. You guys are lying. There's no way the truck costs that dollar amount. And let me show you. Look at this right here. Total MSRP, $56,320. There's no way a supercharger and MRB exhaust. and even dropping the rear end a little bit is only what? Uh, 56,000, Austin said under 63,000. So if my math's right, that's like mm, $6,000 difference. Well, that's because the F-150 is like the time to buy right now with the special incentives that are out there. So like literally this truck with the over 700 horsepower, with the crew cab, with the four x four, could be yours for under $63,000. That is absolutely nutty. I might buy it myself. I, I don't know what to think here. And the, the, every other truck we've been looking at is in the XL trim, and this is actually in the uh, STX trim. So it's got a couple more options. Let's just let's look at the interior quick. So that means not being an XL that we have like all sorts of fancy stuff in there. Even though on the XL standard we get you know black Nine spot assist, we get the, yeah. the over 12 inch sync screen, we get the digital seat. dash. Now we get a little bit nicer seats, we get a few more different touches here and there, these neon yellow accents all over the place. I think the interior stepped up just yet another level over the base. Still However, bad. it's still cheap here and there, of course, like we have our turnkey, we don't have a push button start. But all in all, this is a really nice truck with over 700 horsepower, a warranty, and 63 grand. On the, like, 
on the interior for a second, Austin, like, because I just have to point this out, going back to the regular cab for a second, right? Because you can actually see the center console here and the nice armrests, and only because I've seen it done in previous generation F-150s, like, you can do this same setup in a regular cab. You have to do it yourself. It's not a factory option. Yeah but it's completely doable to take the same seats that are in this STX as an example, or a Lariat even, and with the center console, you have to change out some trim pieces around the, the climate control. All and in all. But you can make it happen. You literally can make it happen. Yeah, and all in all, it's actually super easy. There's a lot of forums on people swapping random pieces in from other F-150s. It's a really big interior, which makes it really easy to work on as well. And on the outside of the STX, unlike the XL, we get that uh, gloss black painted grill, which I think looks really cool. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I would change these wheels. These factory STX wheels are actually really, really cool. The satin black finish, all the spokes, they're kind of aggressive looking. All right, that's enough quick brief talk about the inside and outside of this thing. Let's get behind the wheel and drive it. Other than the slightest whine, you would guess that I'm currently driving a stock 5.0 Crew Cab F-150, just like it's been for the last, I don't even know how many years. If you do about 5% throttle, you start to realize this isn't a stock 5.0 F-150 like they've made for many years. And then if you decide, hey, I want to go ahead and I, I, I really want to get around the guy that's in front of me right now. And you decide to put your foot to the floor in this crew cab F-150. Would you listen to that sweet, sweet, heavenly three liter Whipple supercharger? <laughs> that is just ridiculous. There is no reason a crew cab F-150 should be that quick. It is so unbelievably intoxicating that you can be in this big, I mean massive, crew cab full-size pickup truck and have the acceleration of a sports car. It is so much fun to be behind the wheel of because it's so unexpected. You know, it, it feels a little sportier when we're in the, the single cab short box, but being in this full-size pickup truck, it just doesn't even feel right. Like, like it, it floats, like you, you floor it and it literally feels like you are floating and it is accelerating so fast. Like stuff's coming at like warp speed with how quick this thing is. <laughs> so much fun. These trucks are just fantastic be, to be behind the wheel of. And one of the things that makes them so great, uh, so great of sleepers is they just look completely stock and they can be in any type of form. So. What's been very popular, of course, is the single cab short box air variants that we've been showing off. But you can get them in these base model, you know, crew cabs, or you can get them in, heck, a super high end or high trim crew cab. You can get them in whatever variant you want. And there's just such good cruisers, you know, because the only thing that's been modified on this suspension wise is they took the block out of the back to drop it down a little bit so it didn't sit raked. So this thing just, I mean, I don't know if you guys have been in a, a modern F-150, but they ride so nice. I mean, they're just so comfortable around town. They're great daily drivers. And as long as you're staying uh, you know, out of the boost and out of the higher RPMs, they get great gas mileage too. And this one has the big fuel tank on it. So uh, I currently have 500 miles Intel E. intoxicating that sound I mean the, the amount of the amount of wine that comes into the cabin is unbelievable it sounds so good especially because right now it's just a little bit wet out so we don't have the greatest traction so that stability track is just holding that rpm so you're just getting that consistently loud wine how good sounding is that so cool even from the passenger seat like the torque that you feel is incredible like it's enough to like make you say holy crap are we gonna die like it's substantial it's fun but it is still a truck at the same time yeah so, like it's comfortable it's a great place to spend time but it's awesome that like if you're feeling a little feisty you can throw the throttle down and like your hair just gets all swirly right the other thing that I want to point out is on the outside of this thing, like whether you're in the front of it and you hear it coming at you, or if you're like behind it and it's either screaming by you or has already gone by you, I can't even describe the sound. Like this one has MRB or M MRBP exhaust. MRBP. Yeah, okay, I got a little Come dyslexic. Come on, you used to have that exhaust. I did, I used to have it on a Challenger back in the day. Dyslexia is a thing. But anyways, like 
this one's spiced up a little bit over a previous XL we looked at, but the, the way that the coyote and the whipple scream, yeah, it's like, loud. It's like nothing else. It, it screams it, so loud. It, it like, like makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. It's absolutely nutty hearing this thing get after it. And we had so many comments on our last few videos of people saying, these are becoming too popular now. They're not even sleepers anymore. So you're telling me you're gonna pull up next to this at a stoplight, this crew cab F-150 that you see, I don't know, probably, 300 of on your day-to-day -day commute if it's a half an hour and you're telling me that you're just assuming every single one of them is going to have a Whipple supercharger under the hood? I mean, no, come on. This is the ultimate sleeper. You would never guess or you would never know which one has, you know, 700 horsepower and which one's totally stock in a 2.7. That's what's hilarious about these is how underrated they are when it comes to a visual appearance. Like, you have no idea how fast this truck is. I have to go back to the appearance for just a second. The carbonized gray on this, I really love it, how it looks on the F-150. And I, I absolutely love the amber through the middle of the headlight, daytime running light look. I think it's absolutely menacing throwback, looking. Throwback to the 80s. Right, it's a throwback, like that's what everyone's doing now. But not only that, like the blackout headlights, it just gives this truck such a mean stance. And I still love the fact that if you wanna go sporty, you can go low, you can keep it stock height, but you can also lift it up a little bit. Obviously, you'll, you'll lose a little bit of that thrill if you lift it up. Yeah, right? I personally have driven one with a two inch lift and 35s on it with a Whipple. And I personally was a little bit disappointed because it kind of just drives like a stock 5.0 because of the rolling mass that's in addition to it. Um, it just is a little bit slower. So a little bit disappointed about a lifted one, but a lowered one just takes it up another notch when it comes to speed and performance. The STX is such a sleeper in today's video that like we have like the, the old school like Ford running boards. Yeah. The other things I like are you pointed out the, the matte black wheels, which look really good. But then we have the exhaust that matches the wheels mm -hmm. and Ford's new logo that's like black. Like every accent is black. I like the carbonized gray. Obviously we have like the painted bumpers. Yeah. It's a really cool spec for I mean, being I basic. Mean, literally without a Whipple on it, it's just a great looking truck in general. And unless they didn't put the Whipple sticker on the outside, you just have no idea. And I love these things. I'm curious what you guys think down in the comments below. If you guys have any questions about the warranty or purchasing one of these, be sure to give this number a call. They'll walk you through everything on ordering one of these trucks. They can do it. I think right now order times are like three, four months. However, I think we're on a brief hold because they're waiting for the 2025s to come out. That's just what I heard from the aftermarket team at Apple Autos. But I think that wraps up everything in today's video. We just drove a 725 <laughs> horsepower crew cab Full-size truck that does a four and a half second zero to 60. I, I, I think we could say we drove it to church. I, I mean, literally, yeah. Thank, thank goodness for church. Otherwise, you'd be getting soaked right now. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video here on Performance on Wheels. Really appreciate your support. And let me know what your favorite muscle truck of all time is. Put it down in the comments below. What is your personal favorite off the top of your head? Muscle truck? Yeah. I have to go back to the early 90s Lightning only because I have high school memories in one. Speaking of the early 90s Lightning, check out this one that was just in our service department the other day. Absolutely flawless, super low miles. Paint is like an absolute mirror. Beautiful black Lightning. That's the same one that I have memories of. My, my personal favorite is I was at SEMA in 2022. That exact same Lightning, but in red, had the 7.3 Godzilla what in it up? with a Whipple on it. And mm. it was so unbelievably cool. It had R888Rs in all four corners. Throw a picture of it right here. Thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day. See ya.